Write me 10 highly clickable viral YouTube titles based on information from this web page. And there you go, the power of GPT-4. Welcome into this tutorial on how to master the newly released chat GPT-4 in just minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up an account and how to use it. I'll give you two different options to access GPT-4. One is paid, one is not and I'll tell you the differences between them. I'll also show you the major differences between GPT-3 and GPT-4. This is the newest iteration of the smash hit AI chatbot created by OpenAI, and this version is simply mind blowing. For a quick reference, that little dot over there is the entire data set that ChatGPT-3 was trained on. And that big dot, that's what the new version that came out last week was trained on. Isn't that insane? It's got so much more data in there. The language model is extraordinarily better and the results it's giving are just mind blowing. Now, first you're gonna need to sign up with an OpenAI account to get access to ChatGPT. You're gonna go to chat.openai.com. When you get there, you're gonna wanna click on the sign up link, enter your email address, create a password, and then you're gonna have to go back to your email account and do a quick verification. Fill out a little bit of info about yourself, enter your phone number, Okay, so now that we're in ChatGPT, first thing I need to let you know is that you are just in GPT-3. If you want access to the newest GPT-4, we're gonna have to do a couple other things. We have two options. First is the paid option. If you click over here on upgrade to plus, you'll see there's an option here for $20 a month. That's gonna give you access to some of the newest features as well as ChatGPT-4. So you'll notice here, you've just kind of got basic information and you can type your prompt in here, you know, ask it a quick question and it's gonna give you an answer. But this is giving the answer from ChatGPT3. Now, if you sign up for the plus version, you're gonna notice it's a little different. Here at the top, it's got the option to drop down here for the model. So you've got the legacy, the default ChatGPT 3.5, or the full new GPT 4.0. And you can see there's a little bit of difference. It's giving a three out of five on reasoning for the legacy model versus a five out of five reasoning for the new model. And you'll notice this when you put in information, it's gonna give you a lot more detail and a lot more specific answers to it. So if you want access to this newest model, one option is paying that $20 per month. The other option is to sign up for Bing. All right, so you search for Bing and you'll see that it's got this option to sign into chat. And of course, since Bing is a Microsoft product, they don't like you using Chrome. They want you to use Edge, Microsoft's browser. Hopefully you have that already installed. But there you go. Now we're into the new chat version of Bing, which is running on GPT-4. However, from my experience, I still find that GPT-4, when you go directly in the paid version, gives you better information. Notice how in this one, the moon, a new place, the moon, a journey through time, the moon, our world its own, they're all kind of generic and very similar. This is the stuff that I used to get with the older GPT-3 and GPT-3.5. GPT-4 has a better language model and it's more creative. Uh, dark Side of the Moon, Myths and Legends, Lunar Impact, How the Earth's Moon Was Born and Shaped Our Planet, Moon Missions, Celestial Harvest. Like you can see the, the creativity that's coming out in this. And this is what I noticed more with ChatGPT4. So once again, everything is telling us that Bing is supposed to be running GPT4 and that's what Microsoft is telling us. But my experience has been you're gonna get the best GPT4 results if you do the actual paid version. All right, so I'm gonna jump in here and do a little bit of research, and that'll allow me to show you some of the big differences you'll see between ChatGPT3 and ChatGPT4. So this is using the older model. What's the best type of business to start? You know, that's not a very specific question. Uh, it's a pretty open and vague one, but it's doing a good job. It's pulling in a lot of information and telling me, here's different things you might wanna consider. You might wanna think about the resources, the best type of business that aligns with your passion and your skills. Okay, now let's see what ChatGPT4 will give me with that same question. All right, and as you can see, it gave me a more detailed outline this time in GPT-4, including some suggestions and a little more about what I might wanna research and conduct. The cool thing is, I can get more specific just by going back and saying, okay, what if I only have a laptop and $100? And as you can see, it came up with a great list of a variety of different businesses that I could do for $100 with a laptop in the art section. Okay, so we're getting a little closer. Let's do one more jump down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just ask it now. Let's say, suggest 10 names. Artful Impressions, Design Fusion Studio, Expressive Prints, Imaginative Ink, Masterpiece Makers. As you can see, some pretty decent names that it's coming up with that are creative. Now, I have no idea if domains are available or if anything's available for these, but it's a good start to get me thinking. It's one of the things that I love to do when I wanna come up with an idea, I can spur a whole bunch of different ideas from this. 
If you have complex or multi-part questions, you may want to consider breaking down to a few different smaller, more manageable parts. Like I say, you can chat with it and it's going to learn from you at every step of the way. Don't expect to get the right answer on the first try, but be patient, be open to experimentation. The great thing is you can ask this to change its answer 57 times in a row and it's never going to get frustrated with you or upset. It's just kind of going to keep going and keep iterating until you hit what you're looking for. Being persistent is going to help you get what you need, and it's also going to teach you how to write better prompts. So what are you waiting for? Jump on in, ask GPT for the right questions today, see how it can benefit your life. And if you're interested in learning about those prompts that I'm using, click up here.